Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would start a little shop with me vlog. Uh, I actually wanted to go to Bath and Body Works today because they are doing a candle sale. And they actually have some new summer candles on the website. So I was gonna see if we can also find them in stores. Technically they're not supposed to be out I think till Monday. I'm filming this on Thursday because that's when they have a new summer floor set. But I saw some people are finding them at their store so I want to go ahead and look because there's some really good ones. There's like a chocolate chip cookie, a red, white, and blue cake, chocolate banana and mudslide. That sound amazing to me and they're all $12.95 this weekend. I think for like Mother's Day, usually around different holidays they have different candle sales. So it should be through the whole weekend and then, you know, I can film a little haul if I do find them. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. I don't know if there's a lot of new products out at other stores right now. I feel like usually, I know Walmart and Target at least, it feels like they always do stuff seasonally and I guess we're kind of gearing up towards summer. So I might check out those places and see what we can find if there's anything new. I usually like to focus on beauty because I feel like when I focus on the whole store, it's like very overwhelming. And I know most about beauty, sometimes fashion, I'm not the best at fashion, but you know, sometimes if there's something really cute, I wanna share it. But yeah, I thought we would stop maybe at Walmart today. I do need to grab a couple of things. I need bubble wrap and I need cat food. <laughs> so we definitely need a couple of random things too, but I thought I would just like take you guys with me today. It's kind of a dreary, rainy day, and I live in a super touristy town, and we have a big tulip festival right now. Um, so we're gonna get out of this place. We're gonna get out of this traffic, and maybe if I go up, to the Tulip Festival tomorrow. I'll show you guys a little bit of it. Cause I mean, I love where I live. It's a really cute town, very adorable. It literally looks like we're in Holland. So I'll have to share that with you, but there's a lot of people here in this little cramped space right now. So yeah, I like to kind of get away if I can. So our first stop is gonna be Bath and Body Works. They do have the new candles out for the $12.95 sale. I just wanted to quick go over. They do have Rainbow Waves, which matches the body care. There's a berry fruit punch, buttery popcorn, which is kind of interesting, the sour melon drop, there's chocolate chip cookie, which I'm really excited about, and then also in this collection, the red, white, and blue cake also. Very excited about that one. And then they also have this summer collection, which has the caramel cream soda, which I'm not sure about that one. I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. It, I thought I would like it, but it's super like root beer smelling. Not sure if I like it. Of course, Summer Boardwalk, Berry Waffle Cone, Sea Salt and Seals I think is a new one that smells really good, like laundry smelling. And then I'm really excited about Chocolate Banana Mudslide too. So definitely gonna pick up a few of these. And then also, these are their new soaps. So they have matching soaps sometimes to the candles. Uh, a lot of returning scents, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. They had a soap set last weekend, but I think I'm good on soap for now, but I just wanted to kind of show you what they have. And then there's like Sunwash Citrus, the Sweet Strawberry Scoop, it smells really good, Wildberry Lemonade, and Endless Weekend. These look newer to me as well, at least new packaging for summer, Watermelon Lemonade, Vanilla and Santal. This Coconut and Vetiver one is really good, I think I'm gonna grab that. They have the Perfect Summer, which matches the soap. I actually picked that one up. It's a nice, like, suntan kind of, uh, suntan lotion kind of scent. They have Fiji White Sands, Ocean Driftwood, and then Bergamot and Birch as well. And then they also have the Mother's Day gift, which is $40 to get all this stuff. There's a full-size candle in there, which is Bubbly Rosé, full-size soap, and a ton of the full-size butterfly body care, too. So, really good deal on that. The store did start putting out some minis of the new scents. There's a little firecracker pop, so cute. The Love Always Wins. They have mini Summer Melody, and then this is a new one to me that I'm gonna pick up, but they have the Happy Birthday which is only available in the mini. So it has a fine fragrance mist. It's a frosted vanilla scent, so I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Shower gel, I don't know if they have a lotion, and maybe not, but I think these are usually buy two, get one free, so I think we need another item, so maybe I'll grab a little firecracker pop. I got the goods, I got some new summer candles. I just went to the outlet location here in Des Moines. So I haven't decided if I am gonna film just a haul on those, because I only bought like five or six today. Um, not like the whole collection, because honestly there's a couple that I just didn't really care for. I just wanted more, mostly the like bakery scents. I know they have their new floor set coming out Monday, but I feel like I kind of already have everything from the floor set, so I don't know if I need to wait for that stuff. Maybe I'll just film this. Um, 
depending if I find anything at TJ Maxx because it's been kind of a slow week. I might just upload my candle haul today so I can let you guys know. You know, the 411, the scoop, $12.95 is not a bad price for candles because sometimes they're only like $15.95. So I would say go check out the sale. But now I'm going over to TJ Maxx. I might make a pit stop at Target, see if there's anything new there. I really don't think there is a whole lot new at Target right now, but I don't want there to be like too much going on in this video. So we'll see where we end up. Okay guys, next stop, Walmart. I actually heard there's a new L'Oreal bronzer, so I'm kind of on the hunt for that. I saw some people find it, I think at Walmart. So we're gonna see if we can find that and then just check out if there is any other new makeup I think Maybelline has some like lip stain things out too, glossy lip stains So um, it's been a month or two since I filmed a Walmart video So maybe they will have some new stuff I know the drugstore makeup isn't constantly restocked like high-end makeup is so let's go see if they have anything cool All right, so this Walmart always comes through with the new stuff Which is awesome because I already visited two other Walmarts that had nothing but this is the display we needed the new display of all new makeup and pretty much everything I was looking for is right on here so first up we have a new covergirl mascara this is called the simply ageless lash plumping mascara with a little curved wand I've been trying so many mascaras lately I might pass on this one for now but I do want to share it's new it says it's a three-in-one a primer serum and a mascara it comes in regular and waterproof and I guess the serum part it has like hyaluronic acid in the formula to kind of condition the lashes so there's that I feel like covergirl mascaras are not really my thing I do love the Maybelline Sky High though that one's a favorite we have a Neutrogena this is a serum pen and it's a micro brow tint so just one of those little brow pen things kind of similar to the NYX one I think it has a couple different shades I'm not quite sure and then we have new from Hard Candy. We have some new eyeshadow palettes, which actually look decent. Um, I know Hard Candy is pretty much only sold at Walmart these days, but these look a little like Profusion to me. That's what it's giving me, but we have the Marquee Future Visions palette. The Greek Tragedy palette, very warm. I'm interested in this Roman Candle shade up there. It's like duochrome. And then Naked and Famous, gorgeous neutrals. And they even have little minis. I'm loving the minis. And they say different things. Like this is the punk. So it says punk on it. I'm not sure the prices of any of this stuff because it's not on here. Usually I think later they add that in. This one is the burn. Very pretty. They also have bear, which is gorgeous. This one is, I think, purr. <laughs> and then buzz, which is like gold. I'm really liking this one, which I think this is so far the one that's the most sold out. So I'm going to try it and see how the formula is from Hard Candy. All right, we also have a new lip stuff. So this is CoverGirl again, Simply Ageless. And this is their Hyaluronic Acid, I think it just lipstick. I don't know, it doesn't really say. You can see the color on the inside, which is nice if you kind of want to see what the shade is like. But they have a ton of different colors in the line. I just wish I knew more about the lipstick. But it seems like it's going to be very moisturizing, so I might pick up one of these to try. It has one of those little core centers, which must have like the moisture. So I'm thinking I'm going to pick up one of the nudes, of course. We have Poseidon's Mauve. That one looks dark. Maybe I should just get Caring Blush. That one looks... I don't know, the sticker looks light, but the color looks dark. Maybe we'll go for Elegant Nude. But I definitely want to try one of these and see what it's like. And then here, I've been dying to try these. These are new from Maybelline, and this is what they look like. I saw them on Ulta. I think Michaela has also talked about them. They're the Vinyl Superstay Vinyl Inks. So I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be glossy. I'm not quite certain. I think Michaela ended up liking them. I love the packaging. It's like all plastic, super cute, lots of colors here. So I'm definitely gonna pick up one, I think, to try. I'm liking this cheeky color, so I think I'm gonna grab this one. But yeah, I'm excited to try this out and see what it's all about. This might be what I'm most excited for, the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzers. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to pick a color again, but I might have to pick up a couple. So there's a couple different shades. Uh, it says 24 hour fresh wear. So part of the fresh wear line, which I really like, soft matte finish. It kind of almost looks like they're powders. 
10 shades in total. That's awesome. Um, really excited to try that. And then the L'Oreal concealers on here, but that's not really a new product. Checking out their lip stuff here. This Eco Lips brand looks really good. I don't think I've seen them before, but they have these really nice, like thick tube lip scrubs. It looks almost like a glue stick, but they're pretty big. And this is a brown sugar one, and they have vanilla bean, which looks really good. It has coconut and jojoba oil. And then we also have the little potted ones as well, but I love that the scrubs here are in the little stick form. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's six bucks for those. I like the Vaseline tubs as well. They have a new creme brulee lip therapy balm and then some EOS the pineapple uh, passion fruit and then strawberry sorbet looking at some body care here this brand is new to me um, I think it's TPH is the brand but they have a good days mandarin and ginger cleanser a moisturizing and shower conditioner which sounds really good honestly and then we have an energizing candle we have anything glows body oil Ooh, vanilla and tuberose I might pick this up to try. That sounds really good. It's $12. And then in that same scent, they have a Watch Me Whip hardworking whipped body cream. I love the names of the stuff. It also looks like there was a scrub, but it's out. Vanilla and Tuberose Candle. And then another scent is Ylang Ylang and Palo Santo. So we have another cleanser, elixir. Here's a bath soak and scrub in that one. And then again, candle. So. Definitely want to try a couple things from this line too. The Equate brand, which is I think the generic Walmart brand, I'm not quite sure. I know it's pretty affordable, it has some scrubs and I saw these at the other Walmarts. I should have filmed them because now this one only has one of them. I'll go see if I can find a couple more, but the Tropical Mango Shea Sugar Scrub is new. I've never seen these before. They're only six bucks about, but it looks like there's also a lime one in the island something. So maybe this would be the one that I would like the best. But yeah, I wanted to share that because that's a brand new find as well. I'm glad I did have a somewhat successful Walmart trip finding all the new makeup. I know there wasn't like a ton, but it's been a while since I've seen new drugstore stuff, so I was excited. And I found new body care. Just a couple things I'm looking for, so I might check either some of the Walmarts back at home. But like I mentioned earlier, this is my third Walmart of the day. And I'm really surprised that the other ones didn't even have that new display out yet. So you may not be able to find it, but it's definitely on the way. I feel like there's always one Walmart that puts stuff out a little early. It's the same one I found the Care Bear stuff at. So it seems like they are just on the ball with new launches. I think I might save Target for another Shop With Me vlog. I don't even know of any new stuff popping up there right now, so we might do that one at another time because I don't feel like heading that way right now. And if I do stop at any other Walmarts, I will definitely show you guys if I find any more new things. Hey guys, it is the next day. I do have my glasses on and I didn't really, I don't know, get ready so much because I've just been cleaning the house this morning. Someone's supposed to come and fix one of my dressers that is broken I don't know I like contacted the store because we had this cabinet for like less than a year and it's already separating and breaking so I guess they're sending someone to fix it I'm not sure how they're gonna fix it I don't know if they're just gonna like super glue it together no clue so yeah I'm just been kind of cleaning the house and I put my glasses on because I don't know this eye has been having issues I don't know since yesterday it just feels like a little bit tight and sore but not like it's not red or anything, so I don't know what the deal is. So I'm just gonna wear glasses for the next day or two, I think. Um, I don't think I really need to film any actual makeup videos, but I'm gonna quick stop at another Walmart. I'm just looking for a certain um, skincare brand that's supposed to be a truly beauty dupe at Walmart, and all the other ones I've been to, stuff has been opened, gross, or they're just like sold out. So I'm checking one more store for the video and we'll see if we find anything else. All right, we made it to the next location. It's a little loud in here, but we'll try our best. But um, I found more of those Equate scrubs. This one looks like it's gotten into a little bit, but they have a watermelon one. So there's Island Coconut, Tropical Mango, Watermelon, Exotic Rose, and then this one is Vitamin C. So I might pick up the watermelon one and try it out because I'm super curious about these. All right, and I did find that Truly Beauty dupe brand, but everything is really gross, and every store I've been to, everything's been open, and it seems like they haven't been restocking anything, but like it looks like this. It looks like the AM and H stuff. Sorry, again, the kids are so loud in the background. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, there is a Smooth Strawberry Nice and Mind Hydrating Body Scrub for 15 bucks, so it's a little pricey, but 
I wonder how it, like it compares to Truly or how it compares to the AM and H at TJ Maxx. This is what I want to find. I might order it online, but it's the coconut and vanilla whipped polish. This one's definitely gotten into a gross. And then Illuminate Pineapple and Retinol Body Polish from this brand, which I don't think it says the brand on here. Rainbow Beauty is the brand. Let me know if you guys have tried them. So they have this nice little SPF display as well. It says SPF skincare in spring. So they just put a bunch of their different products on here. Tons of stuff from Neutrogena, the Bliss sunscreen, which I really like. That's $21, SPF 30. They have the CeraVe one out. Um, and then some of their cleansers too. And lastly, we have this Revlon display here that has some new stuff. It says there's new matte light lip crayons. I don't really try a ton of Revlon stuff, but it looks like this is somewhat new products and some uh, of their just classic stuff. So we have these lip crayons. Uh, it says 30% lighter than the traditional lipstick. And then we have here their Color Stay Satin inks, which these aren't super new. It says new on here, but we have seen these before. It's like an ink stain. And some more of their eyeliners. We've seen, of course, their highlights and their bronzers, which I really like. And then their new matte collection is also down here. And then on the other side, it says they have a new mascara, the Eyes Wide Open from the So Fierce line, which I have not tried these, but I've heard good things. And this one actually has hemp seed oil in it to create like healthy looking lashes, I guess. So that is the one with the hemp seed. That one's new. They have some brow inks, brow pencils here, more eyeliners, and then these little eyeshadow quads, which say new, the day to night quads. But yeah, let me know if you guys have used much from Revlon. I just haven't tried a lot of their newer stuff besides their highlights and bronzers that I really like, but I feel like their lip products would be pretty good too. Okay guys, I am back home now. I just picked up a couple things, but I'm really glad I stopped at that Walmart so I could show you a couple extras that I missed at the other ones. I just wish that people would keep their hands out of the different body products because I wanted to buy the Equate Watermelon Scrub. I went ahead and smelled it and it smells so good. So I'm gonna have to be on the hunt for that one. Um, if maybe my local store will restock it. Just, I don't understand why people wanna touch the body scrubs. It makes no sense. But the watermelon one is definitely the best. It smells really good. So I want to get that one. Um, and I looked up those Truly Beauty dupes, the Rainbow Beauty. And it looks like some of the products on the Walmart website you have to get in store. So unfortunately, that didn't really work out. But maybe they will restock. We'll see. So I'm going to head inside. So I guess I can share what I bought uh, in the rest of this like haul. Let's start with Bath and Body Works. So I did go to that candle sale. You guys saw me film it and I'll show you what candles that I picked up. I started burning a couple of them. So chocolate chip cookie I was probably most excited for. It has notes of oven baked cookies, gooey chocolate chips, and a hint of flaky salt. When I initially smelled this on cold, I was getting a lot of chocolate in it, but burning it last night, it's actually a very strong throw. And I do get a little bit of a cookie smell, like baking cookies, but it's definitely heavy on the chocolate for sure in this one, but I think it's nice. I don't know what's going on with my wicks. Um, I'm having some weird burning issues here. It's not burning evenly, but I'm still getting a strong throw out of it. But yeah, I do like it so far. I'm also really enjoying the red, white, and blue cake. This one has notes of red raspberries, white, ripe blueberries, and whipped vanilla cream and soft white cake. So it makes me think of those flag 4th of July cakes with the strawberries and the blueberries to make the American flag. I really like this one. I smell a lot of blueberry in here and a lot of the cakey smell. I think it's really nice. I was burning it. I love the smell of it. So I would recommend. These are still available right now online for $12.95. Also picked up chocolate banana mudslide. I'm so excited about this one. I just know I'm going to love it. I'm getting more chocolate, a little bit of banana in there. I feel like it's probably going to smell like a banana split basically. But the notes are frozen bananas, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and a splash of rum. Also got the buttery popcorn. I just had to get it. I know they did the like sweet kettle corn for fall, but this is definitely a popcorn scent and I kind of love it. So I feel like this would be a nice one to burn on like a movie night. We'll see if it smells weird when burning, but it's definitely very butter so you have to like the smell of like movie theater popcorn it has notes of melted butter fresh popcorn and a sprinkle of sea salt can't wait to try that one also picked up sea salt and sales this was a really nice fresh scent it has notes of ocean sea spray aloe vera nectar and driftwood 
I love how this smells. It's laundry, ocean. It kind of reminds me a little bit of beachfront blanket body care. So really excited. I love me some fresh laundry scents. And my last candle, this is the Coconut and Vetiver by the White Barn line. And I really loved how this one smelled. It has notes of coconut milk, wild jasmine, and vetiver. And usually I don't like a ton of coconut in my scents, but this just blends so pretty together. It's very warm and sweet and a little bit of that coconut kind of flakiness to it. Can't wait to burn that too. I picked up these guys for body care. And I don't know where the lid on this went, but they have new happy birthday body care. And it said on the packaging it's supposed to be this frosted vanilla scent. But when it rang up, it rang up as Merry Cookie. So this is just Merry Cookie. Uh, like the minis repackaged again into this happy birthday. So personally, it's not a new scent if you are waiting for that. But uh, if you guys remember, the first round of Christmas cookies, that one with the almond biscotti, not the current one they keep bringing back, but the first one. That is what this is, and I'm happy to have it because I miss the old Christmas cookies. They changed the formula, and it smells so different, um, but this is the OG. So I got the spray and also this little um, shower gel, and they didn't have the lotion in my store yet, so I grabbed this for my free item. It was buy two, get one free, so I picked up a little mini firecracker pop body cream. But you can get all that stuff on the website right now, and they do have some of the new body care too. So that's my Bath & Body Works haul. Walmart haul time. So let's start with body care. I was so excited to find this TPH brand. I think that's how you say it. Um, and this is their body collection. I think they also have a hair collection at Walmart. But this stuff smells so good. So I picked up the Watch Me Whip Niacinamide like body cream with vanilla and tuberose. It has a little flip up cap. And it is sealed, so you can make sure no one has touched your product at Walmart. <laughs> so I like when stuff is sealed. Oh, that's so pretty. It's very warm vanilla. The consistency of this is so creamy, but still, it's nice and thick at the same time. These aren't like super gourmand scents by any means, because they do have those extra floral notes in them, but I really like this one. The vanilla and tuberose scent and I definitely want to pick up more of their body creams and then also in that line they had a body oil so I had to get this as well and this is in that same vanilla and tuberose scent I got one more thing from the line this is but this is the mandarin and ginger and this is the in shower skin conditioner which also sounded amazing so this one is a really sweet citrusy you definitely get the ginger in there though but it almost makes it almost candy like smelling so I think this one also smells very good. I would love to see them come out with maybe some different gourmand scents, but these do smell nice and they have amazing texture. So hopefully this is something that Walmart will continue to carry and maybe bring more scents in. And then I also grabbed this from Neutrogena and this is their Ultra Sheer Body Mist with SPF 70. I think this is the one that people use all over the body that actually gives a really gorgeous glow. Like it's almost like you put an oil on um, on the body and it just like looks so pretty on the skin so I wanted to grab that one as well okay now let's do makeup so I did get two lip products first up that covergirl let's see hyaluronic acid lipstick here it has the little moisturizing center let's swatch this so that's what it looks like it is a more creamy lipstick it runs very peachy toned next we have the Maybelline Superstay vinyl ink which I'm also excited about this one is in cheeky it's probably gonna look similar to the covergirl a little cooler I like this color a lot so these are more shiny I did grab two L'Oreal bronzers because I just didn't know what shade to get and they only had them at that one store so I didn't want to like I don't know, buy the wrong shade and then not be able to find it again. So this one is the light medium. Here is the swatch. I think I would like this tone. Uh, it's a nice neutral. I'll swatch the honey shade too, which is just medium. This one's a little more warm. Mm, looks a little orangey, so I feel like this one is going to be my good shade light medium. And then the last thing I picked up, I wanted to try one of those hard candy quads. So I picked up the buzz one, which is like the fun yellows. So I'll go ahead and swatch. Here is the Buzz Quad. I really like these tones a lot. I love yellows, the pale champagnes, nice matte brown. 
yeah, it swatches nice, so I'm excited to try these. I'll definitely have to film a new testing new makeup for you guys, but that is pretty much everything I wanted to share in this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this style where it's kind of like a mini vlog, but also you get to shop with me and find new products, but I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.